In today's video, I'm gonna cover the ways you can sell your house in 2022. Did you know there are more ways than ever to sell a home fast? From selling without a realtor to getting top dollar, this is the video for you if you are thinking of selling your house in 2022. Hey, I'm Tristan Campanella with Home by Tristan, local San Diego realtor, and I make this video so you are educated in your options when you are selling a house. If you like it or wanna share it, that would be great as it helps my channel grow. So let's get into it. According to Zillow Research, property values have soared in 2021, hitting up to 25% in some areas. If you want a detailed report on your home or zip code, make sure to contact me and the link is in the description. So even the best California properties can struggle to sell if you don't price the home properly, or if you do a poor job of marking it, or even don't know how to handle the negotiations. So let's get into it. One way you can sell your house is for sale by owner. The biggest question is, should you sell your house without a realtor or with a realtor? Honestly, it's up to you. Many people think they can save time and money by selling their homes without a realtor. But on average, homes that sell by owner bring in less money than agent-involved sales. In fact, the National Association of Realtors found that people who sell their home on their own typically sell for around 26% less than other homes. Guys, that's a lot of money to leave on the table. And oftentimes, it's less than you would pay in commissions. So really think about what, if, what you would be leaving on the table if you sell by yourself. Now it's totally possible and I can totally help you with it and get you the documents you need and help you walk through that if that's something you think you wanna do. Let's talk about commissions. In California, it's normal for the seller to pay for the commission for the entire transactions to both the selling agent and the buying agent. So if you buy a house, you will get it back on, the, on that purchase, right? Because you're not gonna pay the commissions there. And I'll post a video about commissions on my channel soon. Commissions can vary from a flat fee just to enter your house into the MLS to top of the line marketing. Guys, don't be afraid to ask agents what they charge, why they charge that, and what the heck you're gonna get for it. The real truth is most San Diego agents only sell four houses a year, that's it. So if you're not offering a commission to the buyer's agent, many times those agents will not show your home to their clients, which can leave out a huge group of qualified buyers, which we do not want. If you wanna go the traditional agent sale, um, you can work with an agent, which 91% of sellers do, and the best California listing agents know exactly what local buyers want and how to reach them. They offer expert advice, guidance, and support every step of the way from the initial listing meeting, the consultation, all the way through the closing, and especially in negotiations because there's a lot of things to negotiate. Homes listed for sale by traditional agents usually get more money. And the number one thing I like to ask people is, is it more important in what you're paying in commissions or what you're gonna put into your pocket at the end of the deal? There's also an option just to enter in the listing into the MLS, which is can be negotiated for a flat fee, or discounts if your house is just awesome and you don't need to do a lot of marketing, there's discounts that are given. Uh, I offer all of those and most agents do. So make sure you ask about commissions. The third way you can sell your house is a cash sale or an as is sale. So cash sales, let's look at this guys. A cash sale is when you sell your house to an investor or an iBuyer company. Zillow offers used to be doing that, but they're out of the game. So you could look at things like Redfin and other large companies. Beware, these companies usually charge you a fee to buy your house and it can be up to 1.5% of the price. And they're gonna offer you less in the market value since their goal is to resell your house. A reputable cash buyer or investor does not charge a fee and can sometimes offer you more. I buy houses, so feel free to ask me how this works. Who is this good for? This is good for sellers who need to move fast, or you have a ton of repairs and you don't wanna deal with it and you just wanna get your home sold. So that's an option, cash sales. 
Another option which is relatively new to the market is a trade-in option. This is a trade up or trade in program and it's great for home sellers who want to move to another house but don't want to sell their house first. Um, especially right now with due, lack of inventory and you're kind of concerned about where the heck am I going to go. So how this trade in program works is this. You apply for a mortgage with that trade up programs company's lender and you're going to use your home as collateral. You're going to agree that you're going to sell your home within a time frame after you move out, usually about 90 days. It's going based on your home's value and what you're pre-approved for in your loan. The trading company will allow you to start making cash offers for your new home purchase and stay in your home until you've completely moved out. After you move out, they will come in and sell your home, usually at or above market value too. There is a small fee to do this program and they all vary, so make sure you check with me. This is really helpful if you are going up against multiple offers and you have a contingent sale that it's not looking so good compared to people who are offering that don't have a contingent sale. This allows you to be non-contingent and have a very strong offer, so it's a very great way to consider buying a house, especially move up buyers, downsizing buyers, or anybody who just wants to move out of their house and purchase another one. Okay, this program has become very popular. It is the fix and list, not fix and flip, fix and list program. This program is good if you have some repairs to do, but not a lot for you to consider a cash sale option. In this option, the agent or the company will offer to come and repair and renovate parts of your home at no cost to you. So that's great, no upfront cost to you. You simply agree to pay them out of your proceeds in escrow, usually the cost to renovate in a small fee. This is an awesome way to get the most for your house without coming out of pocket. You do sometimes have to live through some renovations, but it can be very, very worth it. Each of these choices to sell your home has pros and cons to it. So it's very important to do your research and talk to qualified professionals. Guys, I'm happy to walk you through your options anytime. Just reach out at my contacts below and find out what the best programs are for you to sell your home. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you make it a great day.